Hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial by Razor Galaxy Present. This tutorial will be showing you how to make an exploding planet, which is really simple, just like this. Yeah, really simple. So first, you need three main things: your space background, uh, an image that looks like uh, a space uh, planet surface. And an exploding effect. So, okay, let's drag that to our new composition. Yep. So it looks like uh, you need to go to the effects and preset and type in CC sphere. Drag that to your new composition. Okay, cool. It looks like uh, a real planet right now. So now you want to drag the uh, space. But. Under the uh, Venus, so drag the space under and then make there. That's what it looks like. You can also make it rotate a bit, so go to effect, CC sphere, rotation, uh, rotation Y, put the stopwatch, go all the way to the last one. And type maybe 10. Cool. So now it would spin. Okay, now. Let's go back to what we do. Now go to the effects and presets and type in shadow. There. Put that onto your cop. Okay, it, look, it looks a bit tighter right there. Go there. Go to view and then change it to render. So there we go. Go to shape. Change bricks into glass. And then go to repetition. Turn it higher. To maybe uh, till it looks like many pieces. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, that looks okay. Now, go from beginning and look at the bit where it starts to crack open. There's a hole. What is it look really fake? Okay, there. I can see a hole. Grab your explosion and put it right on top. Okay, there. But what you have to do is go to transform opacity. Go all the way back. Click stopwatch and turn it to zero. So you can't see any explosion. Okay, now where you can see that crack around there, turn opacity to 100. Okay, cool. There's your explosion in there. Now we need to add the aftershock. So go to composition, new comp. We'll call this aftershock. And we'll go layer, new layer, solid, make it a deep orange or any orange you like. Okay, cool. Now change your rectangle tool to a clip and double click it. Okay. Now go to mask one, control D to duplicate. Go to mask two and go to subtract. And go down, mask feather, turn mask feather up. So that will be our after shot. Maybe a little bit thinner. Around there. Okay. Now go back to our planet. Find the bit where it starts to crack really open. Get the after shot. Place it on top. You can't really see it now, so you have to uh, make your 
footage smaller, so around 25%. Make it really small, so it looks like after shot. And make it a bit there. Now let's zoom in now, because now we can see it fit. Uh, use the rotation tool, rotate it a bit. Okay. Probably a little bit wider. So what you want to do is turn the opacity down to zero and click the stopwatch. Oh, where is it? Oh, uh, off the shelf. Transform opacity zero. Then go a few frames there. You want to turn it a bit on. Okay, maybe a little bit wider. Go another frame. Wider. Next frame. Okay, we need to make this like 25%. There, you want it like that. Okay. But right now, I didn't do anything. Because you have to turn on the scale. Because I'm trying to find the shape. A bit. So. Turn the opacity to zero. Yep. Find the place where it starts to crack. Yep. Around there. Wait, not yet. And turn on scale. Okay. Make that a little bit wider. Okay. Go through a few frames. Make that wider. A few frames again. Wider. A bit wider. Uh, yeah. So let's check it. But it so it looks pretty good. And that ends our tutorial.